West Mountain Radio's computerized battery analyzer is a low-cost laboratory device used to evaluate various battery models, capacities, and chemistries. This video demonstrates how to install and set up the CBA software, along with a few notes about troubleshooting. Begin by verifying receipt of all materials. User Manual CBA 5 Unit 6-foot USB cable 12-inch pigtail adapter, allowing construction of a custom battery test cable 40-amp fuse for special low-voltage, high-current, testing applications and a USB flash drive of the standard CBA software Begin with installing the CBA software on your Windows-based PC you can use the USB flash drive or download the latest version from West Mountain Radio's website. To find it on the website, click on the Support tab, select Downloads, and then select Computerized Battery Analyzers to find your model. Save the CBA setup file to your download directory, then double-click to begin the automatic installation process. The software will suggest a default directory, but you may override the default setting if you choose. After installation, you may be prompted to restart your PC. Connect the CBA to your PC's USB port with the 6-foot USB cable. If a USB hub is used, it must be a powered hub. The CBA can draw up to 1 half amp of current from the USB port. The green LED should turn on. Execute the software by selecting the CBA icon on your desktop. From the top menu, select Tools, then CBA Devices, and click on the device shown to verify the software installation has recognized your CBA's serial number. The serial number can be found on the bottom of the CBA unit. If you purchase the optional extended software, click the License button and input the emailed license key from West Mountain Radio into the License field, which is usually your name followed by the license key alphanumeric code. It's important to understand you can install the CBA software package on as many computers as you wish, but the extended software will only work with the dedicated CBA serial number. If you have multiple CBAs, each will have its own entry in the CBA devices window, which must be selected before beginning a test. Many CBAs can be connected to the same PC and controlled from the same software. To finalize the setup process, select Tools, Preferences, and configure the available options. If you get confused, you can always click Reset to default conditions. For operational questions, access the Help menu. It provides the latest index and contents for your exact software version, which can be verified using the About CBA menu. As future software updates become available, they can be downloaded and installed without affecting previous battery test results. If you wish to automatically receive email notices whenever the software version is updated, go to our website's Contact Us tab, choose Email Alerts, and then select the options you desire. Do not have the battery connected in a circuit or anything else that has a path to ground. If multiple CBAs are connected to the same PC, make sure that none of the batteries being tested are connected together. Never reverse the polarity. The heat sink on the CBA5 can get hot and is not at ground potential. Be careful. If you are testing a 48 volt battery, the heat sink will be 48 volts. While running, the CBA should not be in an airtight closet or enclosed container. The heat sink needs access to open air for proper cooling. 
To avoid test interruptions, make sure your PC power saving modes are set to never power down the USB port and to not go to sleep when unattended. Failing to do so will allow the PC to terminate its USB connection with the CBA, resulting in a failed test. In this example, we'll show you how to change the settings on a Windows 10 computer. First, click on Settings in the Start menu. In the Settings window, click on System. On the left side, click on Power and Sleep. Change the drop-downs under Screen and Sleep to Never so that they will never turn off or go to sleep. Scroll down to where it says Additional Power Settings and click on that. In the Power Options window that appears, make sure that the preferred plan is set to Balanced. Click on Change Plan Settings next to Balanced. Click on Change Advanced Power Settings. Click on the plus icon next to USB Settings. Click on the plus icon next to all of the settings listed under USB Settings. Click on the setting value to change it to be disabled. Some computers have more than one setting under USB Settings that needs to be changed to be disabled. Click on Apply to apply the settings and then on OK. Connect the battery to the CBA using power pole connectors and click the new test icon to begin setting up your first test. A warning pop-up box will appear reminding you to double-check all test parameters with the manufacturer's rated specifications for your battery. Click on OK to close the pop-up. Let's set up a basic discharge test. The discharge test mode is already selected on the left side. Fill in the battery information on the right side. Start by selecting the battery type. The detect button will read the voltage from the unit and estimate the number of cells. Make sure that the voltage that was detected is close to the expected value. Fill in the battery's capacity in amp hours. The battery's weight only needs to be filled out for Ragoni power density charting, so we'll leave it at zero. The age of the battery is not used in the test, so we'll leave that alone. If you wish, you can enter the manufacturer and any additional notes here. Your CBA unit should be selected in the drop down list. We will only be testing with the CBA, so no amplifier should be selected here. A CBA amplifier is useful for testing at a higher power. The CBA5 has a maximum continuous discharge of 150 watts. A discharge test requires a cutoff voltage. This is an important test parameter, because too low of a cutoff voltage can cause damage to a battery. The default value is based off of the number of cells entered for the battery. In the standard software, the sample rate is always one second. The extended software license lets you select a sample rate that is higher or lower than one second. Clicking on the suggest button will suggest the number of test amps, based on the value previously entered in the capacity, amp hour, field. If the test amps are too high, then the battery can be damaged. For this test, we'll set the test amps to five. The graph can be displayed in amp hours, watt hours, minutes, or seconds. If you have the extended software and a temperature probe connected to the CBA, you can check the box to graph the temperature during the test. At the top is where you can fill in the test name and the file name and location for where the test will be saved. Double check to ensure all settings are correct, then press start. The test specification window will close and the load test will begin. Since this is a four hour test, we will speed things up for you. During the test, you can track live parameters on the right side and watch the chart values automatically update. A pop-up box containing a summary of the test will appear when the test is done. You can compare the total amp hour rating on the screen to the manufacturer's battery specification sheet. You may find that a battery will not attain its published amp hour rating, especially if your discharge test is conducted using different values than those used by the manufacturer. Regardless, this number can be used to determine if the battery has enough capacity to do the job you need. Test results can be viewed with amp hours, watt hours, or time on the horizontal axis. Positioning the cursor over any point on the chart will show details of that specific data point. These are just a few of the great features in the CBA software. For more CBA videos, check out our YouTube channel or social media.
If you wish to purchase the computerized battery analyzer, feel free to check out our website or just give us a call.